trying to tell me is you guys are righteous. Yes. And you live a righteous life. Yes. Good night. So you a lot of so your question was you think because or let me get this straight because we have grace we don't have to keep the laws is that what it is well i didn't say that I okay i think you deal with the law but you didn't take out right okay and so he was reading what grace was right i was showing you something Oh, what do you mean? You're supposed to take over. I was just showing you the uh -huh. Okay, my bad, my bad. What, you want me to get over here? Uh -huh. Okay, so. So the law was the Old Testament. You guys have been alienated the New Testament, except for certain scriptures that you want to take out. So watch this. I, I, okay, so I listen to you, right? Okay. And so I'm listening to you too. All right, and right. So now give me uh, Romans chapter three, verse thirty-one, because a lot of times people think that Paul said the laws was done away with, right? So I'm gonna show you something. The laws were done away with. Right. So okay. So if the laws aren't done away with, then what are we supposed to be keeping? Because can you be a murderer? No, no. Does God does God think it's righteous for you to be a murderer? Okay, so that's a law that you should be keeping. I right, doesn't think it's right for you to gossip. Okay, so it's right for you to lie. He doesn't think it's right for you to be with more than one woman. Right. Hey, we go down the list. Every one of us uh -huh. are in violation. Of I'm not in violation of that. Not that. But that's no. Something that God says that you're in violation of. Because what you're trying to tell me is you guys are righteous. Yes. And you live a righteous life. Yes. Good night. So you don't. So we're trying to get you to a righteous life too. I'd rather go my own way. Oh man, that's crazy. That's what's being taught in the churches. No, how? Christ, give me Matthew 5, verse 48. Read that. I'm going to show you something. Christ told you to be perfect. Read that. And then give me Psalms 19 and 4. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect. What did Christ say? Be ye therefore perfect. Christ said be perfect, brother. Christ said be perfect. Why can't we be perfect? Now hold that, still give me Psalms 19. I'm going to show you what makes us perfect. Read that. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law is what? It's perfect. It says the law of the Lord is perfect. But the pastors say you don't have to keep the law. That's why they don't think they can be perfect because they did away what makes you perfect. Right. That's why you can't be perfect because you deny perfection. Right. You deny God's law. Right. You deny what Christ said. You hate Christ. That's right. You would be the same man that put Christ on the cross. Right. Everybody say that they love Jesus, but you won't even consider him and contend for the faith right. of the God that you say you love. Right. Read that again. Psalm chapter 19 verse 7 The law of the Lord is perfect That's why you can't be perfect Is because you reject God's laws You don't want to keep The uh, 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 the Sabbath day Y'all go worship on Sunday right. The same day That master put lashes on your back right. And told you to celebrate right. But you think you was free You think you got your own doctrines right. right. That's not what the Christ said Read Proverbs 13, 13. Uh -huh. Whoso despiseth the word uh -huh. shall be destroyed. God said, who does but despises the uh, word shall be destroyed. We tried to reason. We tried to tell you, thus saith the Lord. But what happens is our churches don't want to keep God's laws. Right. They're okay with being in sin. Right. They're okay with doing what Master told them to do. That's right. Master right. told them to celebrate Fourth of July, right. so I'm gonna celebrate Fourth of July. Right. Master told me I could celebrate uh, 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 Mother's Day, so I'm gonna celebrate Mother's Day. Right. Master told me I could celebrate Memorial Day, but I'm gonna celebrate Memorial Day. Right. But show me, give me John 14 and 15. Bring it out. John 14 and 15, read this real quick. You don't love Christ. You hate Christ. You don't do a damn thing Christ said. That's right. John 14, 15. If ye love me, do you love Christ? I, that is the question out here for each and every one of y'all. Do you love Christ? Jesus. If ye love me, keep my commandments. The Bible says if ye love me, keep my commandments. How you doing today, Mr. Foster? Come talk to me. Come talk to me. I want to show, uh, this is what we out here for, is to get our people to realize 
who they are according to the Bible. Jeez. We want our people to come back to their former glory. The glory of being the Israelites in the Bible. How you doing today? I'm always doing well. Okay. You Mr. F uh, Mr. Foster? Okay. All right. So, have you ever heard of what we teach you before? Okay, so what we're teaching is that we must keep the commandments, God's laws, and the faith in Jesus Christ. That's what we're teaching. But it is not being teached across the board. And this is why we come out here is because we know that you believe in the Bible, right? So if you believe in the Bible and we believe in the Bible, we can try to get you the understanding of what this Bible actually says, right? So now, do y'all have any images of Jesus in the church? No. No? Why not? Okay, give me uh, Hosea 3 and 4. I'm going to show you something real quick. So he did say not to make any graven images, right? But that was to worship. Because guess what? Do we not have, do we not have menorahs? Right. Right? Then y'all got a cross right there. My thing is, hold on. My thing is, if we're not supposed to have any graven images, then why is there a cross on the top of the church? Why is there? Why is that? That's that's contradictory. You want to say that we can't have an image, but you have a graven image up there. Read that for me. Hosea chapter 3 verse 4. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. So this is the thing I want to show you. We blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, we are the Israelites according to this Bible. So it said we shall abide many days without what? Without a king and without a prince and without a sacrifice and without an image. We should abide many days without a what? Without an image. So imagery is important. You want to know why? If imagery wasn't important, why did they give you a white Christ? Because they wanted you to think in your mind that the white man is God. They don't want you. Huh? Yes, you do. You want to know how? And I'm, it's, it's not an attack on you, brother. I'm not trying to attack you. Right. Because you go to church on Sunday. Right. That's right. Because God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. Okay, it's not making me choose. No. Uh, let's read the Bible now. So do you believe in the old, do you believe the Bible? Hey, Sirach 37. Sirach 37. You can worship God, but there's a certain day that God hallowed. Oh, yes. Yeah, if you don't uh, 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 keep the Sabbath, yes. So you're saying that if I worship on Monday, I'm going to hell. You can worship any day you want, but hold on, hold on. But there's a specific day that God commanded that you should keep. Read that. I'm going to show you. Sirach 33 verse 7. Uh -huh. Why doth one day excel another? Because God is saying, why does one day excel another? You want to do it on Tuesday, Monday. But God said, why does one day excel another? Come on. When as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun. Because every day the sun shines on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right. Thursday, right. Friday, Saturday, right? So what's so special? Read. By the knowledge of the Lord. He said, by the knowledge of the Lord. Come on. They were distinguished. Oh, they were distinguished. So, yeah, you may have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but God distinguished certain days that you should keep, and he's hallowed them. Come on. Hold on, hold on. I know, but hold on real quick. Verse 9. Some of them hath he made high days. Some of these days he made high days. Come on. Meaning there's no working, there's no buying, there's no selling. Read. And hallowed them. Uh -huh. And some of them hath he made ordinary days. Some are just ordinary days like today. Today's an ordinary day. I can buy. I can sell. Now give me the Sabbath. I'm going to show you this. Read that. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. All right. But the seventh day. day? It, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So what is the seventh day of the week? Oh, what, what, what? can you answer my question and now I'll answer yours. American calendar this Saturday. Okay, so why don't we worship it on Saturday? Who cares? My God issue, cares. My issue is that I'm asking you that if I worship on, on, a, on, a, on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, am I committing a sin or am I going to hell? That's what I want to know. Uh, if because you don't I'm keep the Sabbath. Hell, I'll worship me the day I want. No. I, want, I don't want to go to hell. That's what uh, I don't want to do. We in hell right now. So this is it? Yes. So what is, what is, this is kind of a nice place to be. Wow. So what hell is, no. Hell is I'm, a, I'm about to read you what hell is. Because this is hell. Hey, okay. So, so guess what? Yeah, you got a new car, but there was a, hold on, hold on. You got a new car, but yet there was a, there was a, 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 a daughter that lost her mother in Buffalo, New York. There was a son that lost his dad in Buffalo, New York. 
Oh, no, 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 no. And evil in the world, but to who? Do the white man get shot down like that? At? Where? Where in the news do you see white men getting gunned down by the masses? Let me tell you something. I'm a former gangster disciple in Chicago, Illinois. I'm uh -huh. shot at white people. Uh -huh. black people. Yeah. I'm a lieutenant. Okay. So I shot at white people. So, uh -huh. so when you tell me people get shot, yeah, because I was with people who did it. Uh -huh. Okay. So so you can't tell me about the streets and, and talking about people getting shot down because I lived that life. Right. I fought that life. Okay. I was spoke. Uh huh. That's what we did. Okay. So when you're talking about white people, yeah, white women and 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 got shot at white people. Okay. Okay, but but does it is it on the masses? What I'm telling you is, do you see? Hold on, hold on. No, do you see white? Do you see white cops gunning down white people on a daily, or killing them on a daily? But you see it happening to black people on a daily. Let's talk about that. Come on, bro. Read me Isaiah. Read me Isaiah. Read. I'm gonna show you something. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. Uh -huh. Therefore my people are gone into captivity. So he said, therefore my people are gone into captivity. Now jump down. Verse 14. No, he said captivity, right? Therefore my people are gone into captivity. Come on. Therefore hell hath enlarged herself. So because people are like God's people have went into captivity, hell has enlarged itself. Hell is captivity. We're in captivity right now because as much as you may have got a brand new car, if you don't pay taxes on that car, if you don't get a license and registered, who's going to come and take it? The white man. That house you may own, if you don't pay, pay your property taxes, who's going to take it? The white man. If you want to go to Jamaica right now and you ain't got the passport, who's going to deny you? The white man. You ain't free. Christ even told you that you're not free because you pay taxes. So my thing is, exactly, because Christ wasn't free. Christ wasn't slave, because he was us. Okay. You are subject to the laws of the land. So was Bolton G? So was Bolton G? Uh, was he going against the laws of the land? Bolton G? Huh? He he's the man that was sitting in his own apartment eating ice cream, watching TV, and a white female cop busted in, thinking it was her apartment, and shot him up. What about Breonna Taylor? Uh, Tamir Rice, Freddie Gray, Fernando Castile. Can we can we keep going? My thing is. This is not, that's not always the case. And this is what I'm trying to show you is that the white man has put us, huh? You got to do what we're doing. It's making sure that white folks are not being racist against what we challenge them. Mm -hmm. We've got to challenge ourselves. Because right. I was out there, guys, I was about white cops, just because I deserve it. Okay. I was out there doing bad things. Right, so let's, we understand that, so let's get back on the topic of the Bible. Right, so now let's get back on the topic of understanding that this image, we're supposed to have a black image of Christ. No, we don't. Yeah, I just saw, yes I am, I'm about to show you. We just read it. So you don't believe in the Bible? Of course I do. So why don't you believe that part? You know the scripture, you don't know, you never seen Jesus. We about to read it right now. We about to read. Oh, okay. I got a question for you. Do you believe in Alexander the Greek? He he was he was a a Greek ruler that conquered, right? Okay, but do you believe he existed? Okay, but have you ever seen a picture of him? Have you ever seen the chariot that he rode in with the horses and the sword that he conquered with? But you believe in him. You ain't seen no picture in him. You believe in God, but you ain't seen a picture of God. So how do you, uh, so this is the thing. No, read that. 
This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. You sitting here trying to tell me that we don't have a description, but we're reading a description right here. How do you not know what God looks like if it's a description of God? Oh, we about to read it. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Come on. And his feet like a to fine brass. Brass is a derivative of brown. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. Guess what? That means he was very, very dark. Now give me Daniel. The one in day is it ten and nine? Ten and six. Ten and six. I'm about to show you ten and five. Yeah, ten, five, and six. Come on. We get they show talk about his feet being very dark, right? Read that. This is the book of Daniel, chapter ten, verse six. Uh -huh. His body also is like the barrel, right. and his face as the appearance of lightning, uh -huh. and his eyes as if a lips of fire, and his arms and his feet. His arms and his feet read like in color to polished brass dark skinned man we're reading a description of what christ looked like they are dark they're dark skinned so all y'all say that african is all what black so what what's the what's the point yes okay so you say that uh-huh i'm a white person and i'm born in south africa i'm now black I'm an African American. No, right. they, a white, white person in South Africa is still born white. Read that for me. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. We are, and this is the thing, you're confusing what the white man called us to what our actual identity is. We're not African American because for one, Africa was named after Leo Scipio Africanus, Come on. a white man. Come on. America was named after Amerigo Vespucci, Come on. another white man. The two white men can't make babies, let alone make black babies. So we have been called that we have been called something that Jesse Jackson made up in the 70s. Come on. Read that. This is Jeremiah 14 and 2. Uh -huh. Judah Martin and Judah right here. Now, Judah really consists of the southern kingdom, but he's given a description of what Judah looks like. Read that. Judah mourned, and the gates they have languished. They are black unto the ground. They are what? They are black unto the ground. So guess what? Judah is black. Now let's read about King Saul. So oh, you got another one for me? Read that one. This is book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Lord, that God Christ came out of what? Out of Judah. We just read that Judah is black unto the ground. Now we just read that uh, Christ came out of what tribe? Out of Judah. That says he was black. Right. You've got to accept the black Christ, right. the black Messiah. Right. Get me preaching another Jesus. Come on. No, because Christ told you so. If y'all, okay, you said who cares, right? You said who cares? Do you got children? No. Okay, so do you have, you have parents, right? Okay, so if you were lost and your parents were looking for you and the police said, okay, describe to us what your son looks like. And they said, well, he's a white boy with blonde hair and blue eyes. How are they gonna find you? No, no, no. Read this. This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. That's the problem. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. It says anybody that comes preaching another Jesus, that Jesus was not a black man, or the doctrine that Jesus taught, read. Whom we have not preached. Because we never taught that. The disciples never taught Christ being a white man. The disciples never taught Christ could be any color, read. Or if he receive another spirit, another spirit, that Christianity cross. You told me I can't have a graven image, but y'all got a graven image posted at the top, the steeple point of your church. Read. Which he have not received. Or another gospel, which he have not accepted. Another gospel, meaning what? That you can be a homosexual. That you can, all nations can be saved. That there's no dietary law. All these different things, read. Ye might well bear with him. No. He said ye may well bear with them, meaning reject them. Right. Because they are not of the Bible. That's right. Don't yes. No. Wow. Okay. We can preach to them. So can a homosexual a homosexual get the kingdom? Well, yes. If they Where? No, they can't stay a homosexual though. That's what I'm saying. They have to change, right? Okay. Right. No, if they change, if anybody, if anybody repents, that's why he said all sin is forgiven except for what? 
Blasphemy. What is blasphemy? Rejecting God's laws. So when you reject God's laws, for example, did you know that we're supposed to have a beard on our face as men? Right, bring it out. I'm going to show you. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Right, so we're not supposed to have a bald head, shave our head bald. Uh -oh. Now, we understand some people lose their hair. That's different. That, we're not talking about that. But if you shave it bald, God said don't do that. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Neither should you shave off your beard. Now, I got a question. Do you believe that in the Old Testament? I believe what this gentleman just read. My uh -huh. question is, I don't believe you go to hell if you have a beard. Yes. Well, it's not hell. We're living in hell, but Christ will kill you uh -huh. if you don't <laughs> if you don't have a beard. Come on. If you don't have a beard, Christ will kill you. Well, you're going to ask you. Not everybody. Not everybody. Are you eternally damned? Yes. If you don't have a beard. Yes. Wow. Okay. There's some people that can't grow them. But if you can grow a beard and choose to shave it off, you will not get the kingdom. Read that. First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine. Uh -huh. Know ye not that no, I mean, know ye not that unrighteousness shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. It said, Un the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Did we not read a law? How? How are we out in the weeds? Take a specific thing that God has asked us to do and make it hell bound. And the only way to go to hell is to Christ. I don't care if you got a beard. I don't care if you got a throat. I don't okay. care if you got a brain. All that has nothing to do with you yourself. Hey, hey, check this. It's all about do you accept this Christ die for you? And that's it. No, all I'm going to show you something. No, because Christ didn't die for everybody. Okay. I'm going to show you. Hold on. Do you believe in the Bible? Yeah or nay? Do you believe in the Bible? Act 5. You know what I want, right? And so you believe in the Bible? So did Christ die for everybody? Okay, let's get. I'm going to get you in Acts. I'm going to show you what the apostle said in Acts. Read that. Hold on. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Uh -huh. Then Peter and the other uh, apostles answered. So was Peter a righteous man? Was Peter not the top apostle after Christ died? Yeah or nay? Okay, read. So that means he was, he was up there. He knew what he was talking about, right? Okay, come on. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. So we got to obey God rather than man. Come on. Right. The God of our fathers. He said these are possessive pronouns. The God of our fathers. Come on. Raised up Jesus, uh -huh. whom ye slew and hung on a tree. Because the same people that say that they love Jesus was the same people that crucified him, right? These people out here today talking about they love Jesus, they'd be the same one that put him on the cross. But keep reading. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, uh -huh. to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. Did that say everybody? No, he came for a long time to Israel. When they reject them, because he, 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 the old, so let's get that. So let's get the history. All the all of Israel didn't reject him. It was some of the you know what I want? Watch, I'm gonna show because it said, lest they follow after him. Read that, read this. This is the book of John, chapter 8, verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. Wow! Then said Jesus to those Jews that believed on him. No, so all the Jews did not reject Christ. No, this is the history that you're not being taught in the church. It's a precept. I don't want history. I just want to know what God has All of what my father says. This is a book of history. You gonna reject this Bible? I don't know what my father says. Jesus said that. No. Okay. He did. We just read. He just read that. Okay, I got a question. In the kingdom of heaven, how many gates are there? So, so my point is that in no matter anyone who accepts Christ, that's, that's not true. Matthew 5 24. Matthew 5 24. Yes, they are. Oh, hold on. Give me Romans. I, 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 there's some of the things I question why y'all say this. Because they obviously haven't read the Bible. No, 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 no. Give me Romans. Romans, uh, what? 3. 3 and verse 1. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. This is the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 1. They are somebody special. Read that. What advantage have, did have the Jew? So Paul said, what advantage then has the Jew? What advantage? No, we about to no, we about to read. We about to read in the New Testament in the Bible. Read. Or what profit is there of circumcision? So what's the profit of the Jews in their circumcision? Come on. Much every way. Much in what? Every way. Much in every way not in some way not in a little way not in 10 percent no much in every way 
Chiefly. Chiefly that what? Because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Unto them was committed the oracles of God. Now give me Acts 1. Now when Christ died, no, they're, look, they're going to die. We're in hell right now. Hell is captivity. Hell is captivity. Heaven is rulership. Read that for me. So now I got a question. When Christ died, what did the disciples ask him about the kingdom of heaven? Okay, we about to show you. This is the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, they asked of Christ, saying what? Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And so he said, will thou at this time restore the kingdom unto Israel? So guess what? Everybody don't get the kingdom. We reject it. He didn't, hold on, they didn't reject it. Christ is already dead. Oh, he was getting ready to ascend. He died. He rose again. He walked with the apostles. And right before he ascended, the disciples asked him this question. So they didn't reject it. The Israelites. That's it? Yes. That's the only one? That's it. Wow. Okay. Yep. All right. Did you ever read Revelation? You ever read Revelation? How many gates are in the kingdom of heaven? Okay, so anyways, the point being, this long in Christianity, for when I ask how many gates are in the kingdom of heaven, you should know that. No, 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 that's not what the Bible says. Read that. This is Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. That's not biblical. It had a wall, great and high. It said it had a wall, great and high. Why? If the kingdom of heaven has a wall, that means that certain people can't come in. You don't build a wall just to build a wall. You build a wall to keep undesired people out. Read. And had a wall, great and high. It had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. It had 12 gates. Come on. And at the gates, 12 angels. Oh, man, guess what? There's 12 angels at each and every one of these gates. You know why there's a bouncer at a club? Because he keeps people out that they don't want in. These 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 angels are the ultimate bouncers. Your ass ain't getting in if you can't if you ain't from one of these tribes. You're not getting in them gates if you ain't from one of these twelve tribes of Israel. Read and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. So guess what? You can't get into the kingdom of heaven with this great wall unless you are the children of Israel. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.